Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um... Uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Time circuits? On. Flux capacitor? Uh, fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. You should come back a week before. But, okay, whatever. So why did shooting the car make the fucking car work again? That was a joke. As in, oh yeah, future, now look what's happened. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Oh, that's the old bitch. Young man, excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. Mm -hmm. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... There's gotta be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. 
It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. You can mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. <laughs> Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No yeah, where's your cocaine? I'll buy you another some. den of booze, sin, and debauchery. Yeah, where can I find There we go. Ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see. Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like <laughs> Carl Sagan did. With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Harry Callaghan. Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. See you later, bitch. I gotta find Doc. While walking, hold on. Oh, the right mouse button to me. Oh no, it's just shift. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> mouse click doesn't even work for me moving them for some reason. Doc! <gasps> Marty! Marty! Doc! What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? No. Sorry about that. He's going to get shut down, so remember? It's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Great Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse. Why would they that do quick. that? That was quickly quickly read. Oh, I'm burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Let's go back in time. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Which is why we should have done that in the we first place. For five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. Let's alert the authorities we can because it's in the... You know what? Sod it. Let's just go for all of these. Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future yeah. has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of Tommy gun fire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a puffy mass of bones and gristle. Who writes like that? According to the byline, one Edna Strickland. I should have guessed. Let's talk to the gangsters. Maybe I can talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? It's true, actually. Oh, uh, I 
I just like this game. Well, I suppose I could just get some age. dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be. <gasps> that's it! Catastrophic. What's it? My rocket powered drill. You have a rocket powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17 year old self sent in a patent application for a rocket powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! I just thought about this, right? Surely, because it said about, oh, you can't go back that far in time because then you'd never come here. Well, sure, that's going to happen now anyway, right? So the way to get around that is you go, like, a, you go a cup. Uh, Marty goes to where he just came from. I can't remember what date that was, right? And he says hi, Dad, blah, 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 blah. Um... Maybe like wait a year. Okay, so Doc's in the car with him. Doc goes off again. You wait like one month or a week. Along with this crazy idea, where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. <laughs> 